We got ourselves another Illinois haul, but I didn't go. My brother came over to do some business and brought over yet another load of stuff. This one had a broken hood on it, and when we were out and about today, we stopped at the scrap yard, and there was a craftsman sitting there. We took a chance. We couldn't remember what we had here. This is a 1000 series hood and a 2000 series tractor, so the hinge part fit, but as you can see, it doesn't fit. The simplicity doesn't have a deck. Don't know if these will run. He tells me a lot of what's going on with some of these, and I just I don't remember. Um, we got a Troy built back here. I believe all this needs is new tines in the back. They're worked on pretty good. This funny looking Aaron's rototiller works. We started it up and check that out. Isn't that funny? I've never seen such a thing. It has a two horse Briggs on it. And we got this here thing that runs free. Free. The guy said that it doesn't run right. So it probably just needs a carb clean. A couple push mowers. Uh, seems like we started that rototiller I don't remember uh, these two run and that's it out here we have rain I've got a problems with my trailer my brother happened to look over and that was broke the weld didn't break loose, but uh, the metal from this channel was too thin, so the metal fatigue made it break. And then the same thing happened on the other side in the back. So i got to remove the axle and get that fixed. Then there's just an array of stuff here. This tote and that box is full of kitchen knives. Some of it's up there. Um, snowmobile she runs we started her up runs good he got it from his boss he's just got to work it off so I give him 200 bucks for it we'll have something to ride this winter won't you know we won't get any snow this big honking 220 table saw I have to take that to the auction weighs a metric ton Three steel cabinets. They're pretty big too. They're uh, 42 high, 36 wide, and 18 inches deep. When he first told me about them, he took a picture. I just thought they were, you know, those particle board put togethers. I didn't want anything to do with them. He said, nope, they're steel. I said, I want something to do with them. Drill press, homemade air compressor little air compressor some of those air compressor over there that one works uh, some kind of an entertainment center there uh, 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 uh. then there is this uh, there's a bench vice over there and then there is a couple of really old Tools. There's some woodworking tools. I don't remember. What? Probably didn't video anything. It, old woodworking tools. There's a punch for punching holes in sheet metal. I'll probably keep that. Coffee grinder. This right here has got to be the oldest. Oh, yeah. The oldest. Sewing machine. Oh, that's not a sewing machine. Look at that.
little scroll saw or whatever you call those things. Isn't that just the neatest thing? I mean, I'm trying to find a, a year on there. I don't see one, but my goodness. Pretty neat. Probably works. Oh, my shoulder hurts so bad. It even has uh, whatever's in here. I don't know. Eh. Well, you know what? But there is some pretty crazy looking stuff. Like this one right here. This has got the funniest thing in it. Don't know what it is either. Oh, I can smell this mildew smell. Like this is a Japanese knife set of some sort. But what in the world is that? Whoa! Is that for sticking people? Vernco. It says Vernco. That's funny. All kinds of knives. Don't know if I don't know as if there's anything in there worth a whole lot, but certainly have fun going through it. I know there is one knife in there that I'm uh, pretty sure is a, a good uh, butcher knife. Uh, it's not really a butcher knife. I can't remember which, uh, you know, which style it is, but uh, I thought I saw one with a good name on it. I don't remember where it's at. Hmm. Anywho. That's about it. Inside here is a bunch of 35 millimeter slides. So that is the latest and greatest Illinois haul. Got a couple of these meat slicers, but those go off to Goodwill. I, I cleaned one up and tried slicing some cheese today, and it bogged it down, didn't do very good. So, alright then, well, I guess we'll catch you on the next video then. Bye-bye.